at these depths, these deeper depths, uh, you see it has long fins going along the back and then also on the lower part of the body and kind of an eel-like body. This is not being overly cooperative because it's keeping its uh, head turned away from us, but it looks like it's got a small eye. So my suspicion is this is in either the genus Basozetus or Spectroculus. I'll have to get a look at the things nice on the bottom video. to see if they're uh, single filaments or double filaments. And again, it's not being cooperative for that. Hey, Bruce, um, yeah. Bruce, I don't think we've seen this one before, and I did see the filaments on the big screen, and they are not divided. Okay, so that means it's not spectrunculus. Um, and I think Chris is right. This looks a little different from the Basilitis. It's got something funny around its mouth, like little patilli or whiskers, and I don't recognize that. And it's very rounded head. It's very scaly head and small eyes are going to give us a puzzle to work out. So I'm not sure what this genus is. It's definitely a cuff deal, but uh, yeah, Chris, Chris is right. Looks like something new. And the thing at the bottom of his head is by the mouth is a little bit odd. Yeah, so Bruce, since we don't really know what this is, I, I don't, I'm not sure you can comment on whether or not this, remember yesterday that we saw that cusk eel with the big eye without a lens, the eyes did not have lenses, can you, do you know anything, well, I, since this is new, you may not know anything about this particular one. Pilot, when we're done with the well, this fish, one has I wonder if we can go back eyes, to the furrow. So unlike the one that we sure. were seeing yesterday, it had very large I eyes, it, although uh, the lens was uh, reduced or absent in those. Uh, this one's got reduced Great. eyes. So this is a species that's not relying on vision much at all. It's probably relying more on the uh, organs along the side of the body, on the lateral line and around the head to pick up vibrations or pressure waves coming through the water, and maybe also a sense of smell. Uh, and uh, even uh, taste uh, with the, uh, uh, right. when it gets down near the bottom. So it's relying on sens uh, sensory systems other than vision, trying to exclude them to avoid prey. And that's um, often the case with the depth of 3,000 meters or so, where there's no sunlight. There they are. 